Thank you for joining us on this edition of the show. The Nigerian software industry has come of age. Our guest today looks at the opportunities and challenges available to the industry. Our tech tip is on a new way to identify fake news, and our app of the week makes it easy to send bulk SMS. We have much more lined up for you, but first, enjoy our tech news and update. This is Tech Trends, and I'm Chukameka Agbata. <laughs> The idea of a cashless society is turning into a reality in Africa. However, it's not an easy process. In Nigeria, banks are working vigorously with the central bank to ensure cashless policy shifts to all regions of the country. In 2013, the Central Bank of Nigeria activated a check truncation platform that allows settlement cycle of checks to be reduced to a day as against three days with the sole aim of ensuring that checks are cleared within 24 hours. A Nigerian leading financial service software provider, Precise Financial System, is on the road to reduce the clearing using a mobile application called iTeller. According to the co-developer of the app, Samuel Yomere, the application will help you send in your checks from the comfort of your home or office. So let's look at it this way. I write a check for somebody, the person has to wait the number, the amount of days he thinks is comfortable for him to get to the bank for the stress, the hurdles and everything. Then after getting there, you might be disappointed if there is an issue with the check. So we thought we should, we, can, we should take away the burden from the customer or take away the stress and provide the mobile app to the customer. In this scenario, it means that your bank is with you wherever you go. Your bank is right there with you. But in this case, it's, it's focused more on, on processing checks. So with this, even a, someone who is not too physical, physically fit can actually deposit a check without, without having to get to the bank. The application comes with an inbuilt scanner using the mobile device camera to capture checks, which is then sent to the bank via the app. After you've installed the iTeller mobile application in your phone, all you need to do is supply your login credentials and you are logged into your application, which displays all the account numbers you have that can accept checks. So all you need to do now is select a, one of the accounts, go to capture check. It gives you a tip on how to take a quality capture of your the of a check you want to send to the uh, to the bank so i can say i can click on camera when you click on camera it launches your phone camera whereby you can take a capture of the check so i have a check here i can quickly take a capture of the check and say okay so it brings the image of the check into the application it also gives you the ability for you to crop rotate flip or swap the images of your check after that you can accept the check you've you've taken a capture of you can also pick a check that is already stored in your mobile phone's memory by selecting the upload button you preview whatever you've done and when you take this, the, your share capture, try and take it an, in an environment where there is enough lightning. Though you can see one or two information on how to capture check in the help page of the application. So after this, all you need to do is submit this check and it goes to the bank for processing and truncation. Samuel adds that the application is built on an end-to-end -end encryption system, a process that helps prevent potential hackers from getting into your information. First thing we did when we when we started developing this application, it's looking at all form of security threats, all form of acts, acts from different users or different, you know, potential hackers or potential threats. So with that, we use a secured layer in our application. Now we have various security levels. There's the application security, there's the security um, layer in which it was implemented in the bank level and also the your login credentials as well is secured and encrypted. So there's a two-way encryption between both the application and where processes the application. The application is an optimal mix of both hardware and software a concept that will ensure a proper connection with the bank's core banking application.